Okay, this is part one of a solar-powered server. Now, the solar-powered kit, I got that at Harbor Freight. I read the reviews on it. It looks like it's a pretty easy kit to get started with. I didn't want to put a kit together. I don't really have the time right now. And for the price, what was included, I can't really complain too much. And plus, it was on sale, and I had the, the discount, the 20% discount, keep on on that. So it's, uh, it's hard to turn that down. Also, I picked up uh, some two of their batteries. Again, they were on sale, and I had 20% coupon. So about uh, three trips to Arbor Freight, and I was good to go. Also, I have a, an infrared thermometer, and that's to check the temperature, because I'm going to store those batteries outside. I'm probably going to put them in some type of enclosure. I want to make sure they don't get too hot. Also, a kilowatt. And what this will do is it'll let me know how much, uh, what's the draw on the server. And what I'm using for the server is this, uh, this laptop, or what's left of the laptop. This was, a, I found this guy in the trash, and uh, the screen was cracked on it. No battery, no hard drive. It's, uh, it's still, it's really not that bad of what's left of it. That's a uh, core, that's a, uh, yeah, core 2. And <clears throat> it actually came with 4 gigs of memory which is plenty for most Linux distributions. But I, I robbed two gigs to put my personal laptop, so I think it's it's down to two gigs now, but still that's plenty. Like I said, that the uh, the battery was gone, and also um, so the drive's in there. Yeah, I'm actually going to pull out the DVD drive. No need for that. And I'm going to run the operating system on a thumb drive. I've had really good success uh, running the Linux distributions off this guy. So... Um, I use some thumb drive of some sort, probably a 4 gig. Uh, if I get fancy, I might throw a 16 gig in there. One thing you have to be careful if you run across this laptop in the trash, just like I did, that the, uh, the USB 2 port is on the back and there's only one of them. So make sure you don't use the side ports. Oh, crap. All right. All right, so that's going to be the server. It's going to host. What I'm hoping is, and we'll have a little web server up, and this is kind of more of a demo just to play around with. I want to try to get maybe um, 500 concurrent connections at one time. I mean, that's, that's not too big, of a, too big of a jump. And, of course, it's going to be solar-powered. Okay, so what I plan to do is, you know, today hopefully get the, uh, get the panel kit out, put it together. I've read mixed reviews about the actual uh, what is that the the little kit that holds it up the frame so I'll put it together and I'll see how it how it is and I might have to replace it with a wooden one and then maybe I can get the box built today but uh, that'll be part one then maybe part two will be actually hooking up the rest of the hardware so we'll see how this works out